Hello there. So with the recent uh, update of Will to Live Online, uh, it switched to Unreal Engine 4.26. So now if you will try to unpack uh, the game files using my old guide, you will not succeed because you need some updated tools. So uh, in this guide I'm going to show you the updated process for Will to Live Online and also all the generic games for uh, Unreal Engine 4.26 and 27. So first of all, what you want to do is to go to the QuickBMS site and download the extractor. It's on the landing page, so you just click on it and download it. Now, uh, second tool you will need is UE Viewer. You can find it on Gildor.org. So uh, this tool will allow us to extract the 3D models and textures if you need them. So uh, you just go to the downloads and download the Windows version. That's it. Now, for the third, we will need a topic on Zenhox uh, for Unreal Engine 4, Pacfile and Packer, uh, page 72. You need the post by Spirit of Odd, where he says uh, he, he has made uh, an updated tool for decrypting the AES keys to unpack in the pack files, and also the updated BMS script for the games on Unreal Engine 4, Point twenty six and twenty seven. If you want to know uh, everything about PUBG, for example, you you should read his post because he explains what you want to do, what you want to search for. Uh, just take a look at, at his post because I don't know anything about unpacking PUBG. So you go to the attachments section and download this script, and you also download the Ace Finder zero point nine F. That's all you need here. You can close the tab. He also says that uh, the AES finder is working on Java runtime environment, so you'll need to download this too if you don't have it. So you just go to the Java site and download this uh, version 8 update 301 or higher if uh, the video gets older. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. I already have the Java installed, so I'm not going to do this, but you have the you know big red button here. So now what you want to do is you want to go to your downloads, find all the archives and do, uh, unpack them. Now when you unpacked everything, uh, you need to open up the AES key finder. Here you found the executable file and the readme. Uh, what you want to do is you want to put the executable file of the game here and launch the uh, IAS finder executable. So for this uh, head to your uh, directory when you have will to live online installed. So the path is uh, for example for me it's uh, my games will to live online. Here you will find the WTL executable. You don't have to touch it because this is actually the easy anti-cheat uh, executable file as you can see from the description. So this is not executable file we are searching. You need to go next in WTL, binaries, Windows 64, and here you will find the ex executable file which is ending on shipping. So you want to take it, copy, and pass it into the open folder of IS key Finder. Once you do this, just launch the executable file So here we are, after it's completed the decryption, we will have the key.txt uh, text file in which you will find the uh, decrypting IAS key, uh, which I will leave in the, in the description. So you just copy this uh, file and paste it in the quick BMS folder, because you will need it later. Now the IAS finder uh, folder is not needed anymore. Now, uh, what you want to do is you want to open the Unreal Tournament uh, 4.27 script, also copy it and pass it into the quick BMS folder. Now we don't need this uh, folder anymore, so we, we, we are left with the two folders, quick BMS and UModel. Now what you want to do is you want to open the quick BMS, launch the executable file, and the program will uh, ask us for the BMS script, you will select the one you just pasted into this folder, 4.27. Uh, next, you need to select the input files, the archives of the game. So normally, you find them in the following directory. So you go my, uh, sorry, my games or Steam, whatever. Will to live online, WTL, content, 
packs. Here you have all the pack archives files. So uh, I, for example, will uh, well let's just take artifacts. This is the like one of the smallest, uh, and you also need to select the uh, output folder. So I just create a you know random folder like arts, and uh, I'm gonna choose it on my desktop. Now the quick BMS ask us for the AES key we just found now. So we will copy it and paste it into the console. So it finished uh, unpacking the artifacts pack uh, archive. So now you, you can just close the console and in the folder with artifacts you will find all the files you need. But uh, as you can see for example if I want to take a look at the meshes, I cannot open them. For this we will need the uh, U-model or UE viewer, whatever. So when I launch it, Windows somehow tells me it's it's uh, it's a risky uh, executable, but I trust it so, and I'm on the virtual machine, so I, re I don't really care, so. Uh, now, in this uh, window, what you want to do is you want to select your folder with the unpacked game file. So I go on desktop, I select the ar uh, artifacts folder, override game detection and you choose Unreal Engine 4, Unreal Engine 4.26 and platform you can put PC or auto whatever. And here you will find uh, the uh, tree of the folder with the game files, unpacked game files. So if I want to well, take a look for example at at artifact jellyfish, I just go to meshes, open it up, and I can see the mesh of the artifacts. It's some kind of buggy with the, you know, on on the virtual machine. But you can see I can I can rotate kinda the the model. You can also export the textures this way into the transparent uh, formats. So that's pretty much it. Uh, hope it's useful for you. Thanks for watching.